Okay, my name's Richard Priestman. I'm going to show you quickly how to make uh, an elbow sling trainer, which is essential for any kind of boat training. Um, I use recycled materials. You can buy new, but you can use old bag straps, uh, webbing, uh, thread, all that kind of thing. I'll, I'll talk you through. So, um, this is just a simple webbing. I think this somebody used this as a shooting line at one point. It's, it's just very soft incredibly strong. You can use old bag straps, sports bags. Most people have this lying around the house. You can find it and use it. So it's just cut into two lengths. We'll use um, paracord. You can use other kind of braided cord but this is the strongest. It won't break on you. If you can use, some people have used like shoelaces and at some point they will break and that might cause pain and some damage. So use something that's safe uh, it's incredibly cheap, and you might have some anyway. Like I said before, uh, bowstring material, any lens you've got left, or you can use some for an old bowstring. It won't break, it's got more than 40 pounds of breaking strain, one little strand, it'll last forever. So you just sew it once and it's done. Uh, nice strong darning needle. A pair of scissors and tape measure. Okay. So the first thing we'll do is we need to make a loop which is going to go around your elbow. So this is the longest piece. This is about 23 inches. See, the bigger the person, you're going to have a little bit longer, small, thin, armed archer, a bit shorter. So for myself, I'm a kind of a large top. Um, I will use just over 23 inches. So we just we'll just make it into a loop. So the idea of that loop is it will go over the back of the elbow. Okay, so we will stitch that there. Then the other one is a little bit shorter. That is about 18 inches. The purpose of the shorter one, is just one I've prepared earlier. We've made our loop. And then we need to have a retaining loop for the other side of the elbow. So that's what we're trying to achieve in the end. Okay, so we're making a loop on your elbow. The loop of the elbow will go through here. I can see I've already sewn that. Just in a nice square. This took me minutes. It's you can you can be nice and make it neater. You can. Doesn't really matter. That's really strong. That will never break. The second shorter loop, I've just gone over the top and round there and just along. So that, that's actually movable. So now I'll just make the loop the other side and sew that in place. You don't need to have any sewing skills to do this. If you don't want to stab yourself, use a thimble. I don't know if there's any special name for this kind of stitch, but I'm just going back on myself all the time. just found it stronger if you do going back on yourself and you have like an almost continuous line here and continuous at the back and it's usually strong enough never to move this webbing's nice and soft so it's easy to do somewhere a bit more stiff I'm just pulling it really tight You see, it's very quick. Okay, now it's done very quick. 
what I didn't say earlier is when you cut these webbing straps, just uh, use a lighter just to singe the ends. And you can do the same with the end of your bowstring material just to seal it. Okay, so now we have the basics of the elbow sling, which will go over the elbow in that position. Okay. And the beauty of using this wider strap, it's very comfortable on the elbow and you don't get the chafing and the pain when you're doing a lot of holding exercises. And that will never slip. Okay, so now to make the loop, we take our paracord, just put a simple knock. Okay, knot there, just seal the ends so it's not fraying. And then we just Okay, we just pull that through itself. Okay, pull it tight. So now we have our elbow sling. Now then, once we've found the position where that's safely near the end of your elbow, and we've got this retaining part here, you can actually put some stitches here now just to keep it in one place so it'll never move. Now, for um, Patrick will show you different exercises, but we basically need two lengths of rope depending on the kind of exercise you're going to do. If you're going to do holding exercises, you need the rope with firmly on your elbow to come roughly to the bottom of the base of your fingers. And that's excellent for your holding exercises. If we're going to do some shooting exercise with it, you need it to be almost the tip of your fingers, so about two inches longer. So these need to be customized. Everybody's a little bit different. Okay, so that's a very simple, very quick, and very cheap elbow sling. Thank you very much, Richard. Thank you.